there's the difference between Andy Reid and Bill, where I think Bill kind of gets the the wrong end of the stick, is that Bill's first job was with Cleveland. Right. right? He took them to the playoffs. They won a game and they lost. And it was a short window time. I think it was, he was there five years. And then his next job, he was with a team for 24 years. Where when you look at Andy Reid, he was with Philly for, well, I want to say like Four, six, 14 years. Was it 14 years? what Bill just said. And so what ends up happening is when Reid gets fired from Philadelphia, he's still young enough to get other opportunities. So it would almost be like if Bill would have got fired after the 2006 season or seven season, but he was never bad enough to get fired <laughs> where Andy yeah. Reid had that window where he was bad for a couple years and then still had an opportunity. Yeah, to the be longer it takes to explain something, the further you are. From no, no, answers. I'm just trying to make the point. <laughs> you, the, the problem when Bill got fired, he was 72 years old. So he doesn't get an opportunity for that really second redemption to see, okay, what can I do without Brady? Right. Because the majority well, of his... We've seen it. No, you saw a five-year window of it. By the way, it no. was... It was what a, was the last was, four years? It was... It, he wasn't fired. It was a gracious... Oh, sorry. Uncoupling. Uh, uncoupling uh, and, and a mutual parting of the, right. of the ways. Right. So with his la without Brady, he took a team to the playoff. They didn't win. And then he had two bad seasons. And then he ultimately got fired. Well, Very similar to what happened to Andy Reid. Seven and nine. But that's what happened to Andy Reid. And Reed. then they won ten games. And right. then they won eight. And right. then they won four. Look at Andy Reid's record. Same thing happened to him. And they won four games in his last year in Philadelphia, and then he goes to Kansas City, and you know he was able to turn his coaching career back around. This is Jamil from Cambridge. What's up? Good morning, boys. How you doing? How you doing? Love your show. Love your show. Thank you. Listen, mate, um, Courtney. One thing I want to say something to Courtney. Courtney, be easy what you do to Santos. It might come back to bite you in the ass when he leaves you for Valentine's in one of these days. That's fair. That is fair. I'll take that into consideration. You leave, that poor, guy, you leave that poor guy alone, man. That guy seems like he's taking a beating over there. Yep. But, um, Rick, Wiggy, you're the, one, you're the keep it 100 guy. I love you, man. You're probably one of my best, man. Appreciate it. I never agree, I never agree with anything Curtis says because I think Curtis is one of those guys that sits in the corner and throws little jabs here and there. But not even... <laughs> Guys, not even close with the coaching as far as individually in the accomplishment. The other guy just show, uh, stole my thunder a little bit. I mean, just do the numbers itself, man. I mean, like, Belichick and Reed. I know we don't like Reed. Everybody's waiting for the guy to pass away and make jokes about him. And I'm not a big Reed fan, and I'm not even a Steelers fan. What? But it's not even close, boys, as far as individual well, uh, and what the accomplishment was. So Bill has uh, six Super Bowls. Andy yeah, Reid. Andy That's Andy Reid has three. I mean, I you know yeah. uh, that. Uh, no, but we're talking about we're talking about accomplishment as far as what you do as a coach. When he was in Philly, the, you just heard it. Four AFC championships, all these different type of stuff. But like, look at. I mean, you guys want to build, um, give Belichick that one little playoff in Cleveland. Go ahead. But besides that, the guy has um, he accomplished nothing. Yeah. It was proven when Brady left. Okay. Jamil, right. great call, and I just looked this up because Wiggy says things and then people just accept them as fact. It is fact. He hasn't had a losing season since he was in Philadelphia. He got to the Chiefs in 2013, mm -hmm. the year before the Chiefs were dead last in points scored. Dead last. That, that year, in 2013, they went 11 games. Right. 20, 2012, he was 4-12. and 12. He wasn't there in 2012. Yes, he was. He was in was. Philadelphia. I have it right in front I'm of me. In 2012, Andy Reid right. in Philly was 4-12. and 12. Right. But he, you then, and then said the he year took before, a couple years the, with no, the Chiefs. And the, no, I said Philadelphia. In the years before that, they were 8-8. Eight and eight. No, I'm talking to you about when he got to the Chiefs without Patrick Mahomes. No, he did 13, well. 13, 14, yes. 15, 16, 17. Five years yeah. on a single losing season. No, I know that. He's done well in Phil uh, Kansas City. I'm not saying he did, but what my point was he got another opportunity when he was still young enough where Bill, once Bill was like bad his second go round, he was 72 years old. But even in his final three seasons with the Eagles, those were better than Bill's final three he years went four and two. He went four and 12, eight and eight, 10 and six. Right. Very similar to what Bill went. Bill went 10 and seven. Bill then went... Um, Two eight more and losses, eight. right. Then he went eight and eight, and then he ended up going whatever they went this Four year. And Four, Four and thirteen. Four and thirteen. So they were very similar, but when Bill gets or his potting of the ways, he's seventy two. When Andy Reid has that, he's in his fifties. Yeah. So he's now able to coach again. The problem where Bill gets 
the, the short end of the stick is because the majority of his coaching career is with Brady, and that short window without Brady, that's what people But his at. coaching career would have ended in 2001 if Brady wasn't Brady. If he if he went five and eleven again after going five and eleven in his first year, they're on their way at zero and two. No, 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 no. I, it's not if Brady I, wasn't Brady. If Bill didn't decide to go with Tom Brady, right, right, right. right. So his but choices Curtis doesn't give him any credit for that. Nor drafting Tom Brady. Zero well, you got to give him that. credit. Well, for if you knew he was Brady, you wouldn't have picked him at one ninety. But no, but here's the here's the thing. If Bill does it in two thousand and one when Bledsoe got hurt, if Bill doesn't make the decision. To stick with Brady. To stick with Brady. Yeah. We don't know what happens, and we probably don't know what Brady is because Brady— oh, you, uh, You're assuming also that Bill would have accomplished nothing with Drew Bledsoe as his quarterback. Drew Bledsoe was a pretty good quarterback. Well, he, so, he was, they were 5-13 and 13 with Bledsoe as a starter. Yeah, but he was. that was his first year. And so it takes two. time. And yeah, and that would have been his second year. I know. So so who <laughs> knows where he ends up when Drew comes back from injury? Who knows where he ends up in his third year? Then in his third year, if he doesn't do good with Drew, uh, Drew he probably gets fired. But if he doesn't go with Brady, who knows if Brady even gets an another shot in the I, NFL? I mean, Bill should write Brady a thank you note. Thanks to, thanks no, to no. Tom Brady. If anybody, he beat Andy Reid. Andy no, Reid would have four if, if anybody not for the Anybody should be writing a thank you note. It should be Brady to Bill because <laughs> if Brady, if Bill doesn't play Brady, we might never know who Tom Brady but, is. But there's and never Brady been... knows that. Brady says right. that. Well, that he has all the appreciation in the world for Bill Belichick and what he's done for him. I think Brady understands the, the, the gift that he gave to Tom to get him into the right. league is something that nobody else, a lot of other coaches would have passed on. And if, if Patrick Mahomes doesn't perform well under Andy Reid and Andy Reid gets fired, guess who gets another shot? Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. If Brady doesn't get an opportunity to play, he might not play for anybody. He just might have been a career backup, and he might have been Brian Hoyer, where you know what, no one ever, get, no one, no one that would have ever given him an opportunity. But that's the truth, it. though. We, we have the answer in front of it's us. Not it's not the so answer. Clean. It is not your. And you're, it's like we're looking at it like, what does no, that say? I don't know. No, no. What you're doing is you're you're trying to rewrite history. Nope, history is right in front no, of me. I'm looking at it as history is this. Speak. If Tom Brady wasn't given the opportunity by Bill Belichick to start and continue to stay the starter, we might never know who Tom Brady is. Yeah, okay. And, 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 six, and if take it from me. As a guy who was undrafted, right. as a six-round draft pick, right. you don't get many opportunities. Okay, and let me just say this. If the Patriots played and Mo Lewis never hit Drew Bledsoe, right. and Bill Ge Belichick gets fired, he's not getting a third coaching job. But maybe maybe he gets it. Maybe he becomes a defensive coordinator, right. does well, been. and then he does become a coach again. We see it all the time. Very happen. rare to get three opportunities. No, we see it all the time. What was this for Josh McDaniel? Wasn't this his third time? <laughs> uh, no, second. He I thought he was Denver, Denver he and then I thought he was uh, the St. Louis. No, he was the offensive coordinator. Oh, yeah. the offensive corner. Yeah. I don't like history. I like her story. Amen. No, no, no. <laughs> Courtney, what you should like is facts. Yes. And Brady, like... I was just asking the question. No, I know, but it's a good I mean, question. I, I, just, I mean, that's why I wanted to ask it. I think it's interesting. The same energy is not applied to Andy Reid. Right. And the benefit that he has had when it comes to having Patrick Mahomes as his quarterback is as, as that that is applied to Bill and Tom right. Brady. Right, and, because and, there's not an outlier looking at his career linear stats and, and record. With Bill Belichick, there is a clear and obvious gap when he's coaching the greatest quarterback of, in NFL history and when he's not. With right, Andy but he's Reed, had it's his, very the, similar. But 90% of Bill's coaching career was with the greatest quarterback of all time. That's the difference where when you look at Andy Reid, when he was fired from Philadelphia, he was he had still plenty of coaching time. If Bill was 60 right now and accomplished the things that he accomplished with Brady, he would then be able to land somewhere, and then we'd really be able to make a decision mm -hmm. on what Bill Belichick was. Because a lot of the times when a guy has his first go around, they make a bunch of mistakes. Except Andy Reid, who went 5-11 in yeah. the first season and then had five straight seasons he did. of 11 or more wins. He did, but some guys are able to do it. Bill then, his second go around, he becomes the greatest coach of all time. And mm -hmm. yes, he had Tom Brady. And the reason why he had Tom Brady, because Bill in 01 said, I see something in this mm -hmm. kid. I'm sticking with him. Now. I just feel sorry for all the Patriots fans that still think it was Bill over Tom. Nobody oh. says that. And it's okay. <laughs> no, you no, know, no, no, Losing no, no. an argument's fine. No, 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 no. It happens to the best I of feel, us. I feel sorry for the people. God who bless say, you. No, no. I, I, I wish I you well. I feel sorry for the people. Vaya con Dios. I feel sorry for the people who say that Brady was Brady because of Tom. 
Brady wouldn't have been Brady if Bill didn't choose to say, you're our starting quarterback. Preach. Amen. That's and, the difference. And I think Bill molded Tom, and he just chose not to mold another one because he didn't want to no, have no. another good No, no. He player. had another one. Wow. He didn't ever had another one for that period of time. I feel sorry. Was right. It? He's in charge. He chose to do it that way. But listen, I, Curtis, you'll yeah. ne <laughs> Greg, he'll never be able to get this. It's okay. I it was If it wasn't for Bill, we might never know who Tom Brady is. Yes. Right. I, bottom line. Amen. We, and I'm I, so glad that Bill said goodbye to Tom so we could see Tom win right away in another town. Okay. It was perfect. I, I Listen, I know it's NBA All-Star Weekend, but I didn't want to dunk on Curtis, but but I had to uh, with that question. <laughs> So, uh, that was a poster rise. <laughs> I'm talking gonads in the face, like, ah! yep, I'm not gonna sigh. It's okay. And even I don't know why even, reviewed so differently. Even, Maybe because even, one's good and the other that, sucks. Even, I did that. I even pumped, shy I agreed my, with it. I grabbed my Reebok pumps right. and 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 then Wait, I, what dunked, did I, agree? I dunked on Curtis. Even shy agreed with it, where you said Tom in the beginning wasn't the same Tom he was at the end. So the yeah. last Super Bowl he was able to accomplish on his own, he had already made the name that he's the greatest quarterback right, of all time. Right, right. And <laughs> Bill decided to hire Matt Patricia to coach uh, Mac Jones. You, know, you, gotta get. you swung and missed on all Mac right. Jones. <laughs>